Yo, it's me, Chris. As you guys can see today, I'm wearing this gray hat like usual. And I also have this King K. Rule shirt. Look, he's grabbing his coins. Look, he's going to grab them all. Stop him before he gets them all. How about this guy? Hey, it's me, Chris, a.k.a. Kevin's Breeze, a.k.a. Whoa! Belt! Different, a.k.a. Chubby Rain himself, the flesh of the guy your mom is always talking about. <laughs> That is for your mother, and today we're going to be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is... Watching a movie. Hey, y'all. Interesting. What movie are we watching, though? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Woo! Wow. Could I ever use one of those? Woo! <laughs> Actually, yeah, I would like a day off. Can I have a day off, guys? Please? 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 I beg of you. All right, guess we can't. But you know who always has a day off? The people on the Patreon. They always have days off because they're great, wonderful, Whoa! beautiful individuals that deserve to rest. And for those of you who are subject to the channel at this very moment, you guys also deserve a day of rest or two or three as much as you need. Take all the rest you want. Oh, boy. But for those of you who are not sub to the channel right now, you guys deserve no rest. Nothing. You must work 20 Four, seven. And I'm not talking about you guys are, you know, grinding, you know, up and early grinding for something that's actually meaningful. No, you're working a mundane, very repetitive job that sucks 24 seven because you suck also. But hey, you don't have to suffer for eternity. You can sub to the channel right now and you don't have to do any of that. You can take days of rest. You can rest forever if you want to. Forever? Forever. They can just kick back, relax. <sighs> In the sunset, everything's A-OK. -okay. Don't worry about it. It's a sub right now, and you don't have to live a miserable life anymore. You probably do right now, but hey, at least you're sub to the channel. At least it will get a little bit better. Yep. Rays of sunshine. Unicorns. Gumdrops and rainbows. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, that's all we got, honestly. Are you okay? Wee! <laughs> We're just going to get into the video, okay, guys? You ready? You ready? Wee! What? What's wrong? What's wrong? For Christ's sake, look at him, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's frozen. I'm fine. I get up. No. 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 I have a test today. No. <sighs> oh, fine. What's this? What's his problem? He doesn't feel well. The man's dying. Right. Yeah, Drive let him die in peace. Fertilize the lawn. It's, it's nice to know that I have such love and caring parents. Oh, my, my God. God. He's really milking this. Oh, God. I've never seen someone kiss ass this hard before. It's a full-on tongue out and everything, man. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. <laughs> oh, man. We've been there. Yep. They bought it. <laughs> Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. It was pretty bad, to be <laughs> fair. It was very bad. This is my ninth sick day this semester. Just nine? Rookie numbers. Rookie numbers. I do have a test today. That wasn't bullshit. It's on European... <laughs> <laughs> nice mohawk. Being European. So who gives a crap if they're socialists? <laughs> <laughs> Isms, in my opinion, are not good. A person should not believe in an ism. He should believe in himself. Ooh. Hello? Cameron, babe, what's happening? Very little. Whoa! Now get dressed and come on over. You can't stoop it, I'm sick. That's all in your head. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now come on over here and pick me up. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dying, you just can't think of anything good to do. <laughs> Actually sick. 
If Ferris thinks that he can just coast through My this God, that computer. and still graduate, he is yeah, sorely ancient. mistaken. I think dinosaurs I used no it. no reservation whatsoever. About holding him back for another year. <laughs> What's with the evil laugh? No, it was a supervillain laugh. He has missed nine days. <laughs> what the fuck? Grace! What's she doing with the whiteout? Grace! Whoa. Look, I can give you every assurance, Mr. Rooney, that Ferris is home and he is very ill. Grace! I can... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's awful! Had one lesson. Really? I wonder what told you that. Really sorry about your brother. What are you sorry for? I have to live with a trouser snake. No, I mean I heard he's really sick. Dude, the airplane earrings are kind of sick. Oh yeah, whoa. This guy in my biology class said that if Ferris dies, he's giving his eyes to Stevie Wonder. <laughs> what the? Shut up. <laughs> I don't trust this kid. Any further than I can throw him. Well, with your bad knee, Ed, you shouldn't throw anybody. God damn. Whoa. Bueller is he gives good kids bad ideas. Uh-huh. What? Well, makes you look like an ass is what he does, Ed. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Got to catch him this time. Show these kids that the example he sets is a first-class ticket to nowhere. You sounded like Dirty Harry just then. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god. Do you know what my diastolic is? Be a man. Take some Pepto-Bismol, get dressed, and come on over here. I'm tired of this stuff. Oh, shut up. I'm so disappointed in Cameron. 20 bucks says he's sitting in his car debating about whether or not he should go out. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go with, I'll go. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh my god. god. Damn it. What the hell is this thing? Oh my god, dude. Oh! <laughs> What's he doing? Because you know Ferris is gonna win. Dead grandmother? Who's this girl going out with? So hard to tell these days. I do see her with Ferris Bueller quite a little bit. Ah. Uh, Could you get me Mr. Peterson's daytime number, please? Sure. Oh, you know, it's Mr. Peterson. You still want his daytime number? <laughs> uh, sure, yo, yeah, I'd be happy to. Yeah, you, uh, you, you just produce a corpse, and uh, I'll release Sloan. I want to see this dead Grace. It's Ferris Bueller, a little twerp. I'm gonna set a trap and let him fall right into it. Ed Rooney's office. Hi, this is Ferris Bueller. Can I speak to Mr. Rooney, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. You don't like my policies, you can just come on down here and smooch my big old white butt. Ed! Pucker up, buttercup. Ferris Bueller's online, too. <laughs> Be possible for my sister to bring home any assignments for my classes. Have a nice day. <laughs> go back a family member dies and you insult me what the hell is the matter with you anyway <laughs> uh, 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 well uh, i can't begin to tell you how embarrassed <laughs> I am. pardon my french but you're an asshole <laughs> <laughs> asshole uh you are absolutely right <laughs> well, right in the head Oh, 
God, no. My father spent three years restoring this car. Please survive to the end of the movie, please. Oh my God, the car's gonna die. Cars always die. The pretty cars always die. Whatever miles we put on, we'll take off. Oh. Wait, what? We'll drive home backwards. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. He's gonna have a panic attack. What race? Anyone? Fire marginal race on your. Hi. Do you have a kiss for daddy? Are you kidding? Whoa! That's not what is in their family. <laughs> If you had access to a car like this, would you take it back right away? Neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I feel like the car's just gonna die. I have some form of like anxiety for this car. Ooh! Ooh! That's tasty! They just had to bring that in! The St. Ferris Foundation? What? Go piss up a flagpole. <laughs> you should be. Hey! hey. <laughs> and what if you need a favor someday from Ferris Bueller? Then where will you be, huh? You heartless wench. <laughs> you heartless wench? Who speaks like that? You speak English? Uh, what country do you think this is? Okay. <laughs> Sir. Come on. Oh. Oh, please. It's dead. It's gone for it. It's hundred percent gonna uh, get uh, fucked by the end. I know something really bad's gonna happen. It's gonna get smashed. It's gonna be destroyed. It's gonna die. How do you go about your day with that kind of anxiety on your shoulders? It's gonna fucking die! No! Oh my god! Oh no! What does he have planned for this? What's gonna keep mom away? actually worked his parents are actually really nice very nice supportive and whatnot good can we leave soon <laughs> <laughs> hey oh, look at those hats climb up on this what the hell what's with the feather you know they got drip going on over there you want to get married today <laughs> i'm not getting married why not why do you mean why not think about it I'll give you two good reasons why not. My mother and my father. God damn shit! Ooh. They're married and they hate each other. You've Ooh. seen them, am I right? He loves the car. He hates his wife. <laughs> shit! Yo, poor Cameron, dude. What the fuck? God damn. Why is he walking like he has a stick up his ass? <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is wrong with you, buddy? Please get the hell out of here. This place gives me the Why is it the evil villain mustache? He, yeah, he, right? He looks like a classic villain. I'm Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Sausage King? You're gonna call the police on me? Yes. Fine. As a matter of fact, I'll call him myself. <laughs> Okay, Ferris, can we just let it go, please? Ferris, please. God, God. <laughs> Why are you throwing at him? Describe him for me, please. Leather jacket? 
<laughs> Hold on one moment. Yes, <laughs> Mr. Froman, this is Sergeant Peterson, Chicago Police. <laughs> It's understanding that makes it possible for people like us to tolerate a person like yourself. Holy oh, damn! <laughs> damn, dude. Holy shit. Is that guy alive? He looks like he's tired or shitting. <laughs> Is Mr. Rooney in? He's left the school grounds on personal business. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I suppose it means it's personal and it's none of your business, young lady. Goddamn! Is he on the prowl? I guess so. He's prowling. Pow! Oh my god! That is so fucking lame. Oh no, 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 no you. No! Oh no! Oh god, no! Your ass is mine. Perfect timing. God, dude, that's just pizza! Oh my god, it's good. What kind of pizza is that? I got pepperonis. Is that olives? Yeah, pepperoni and olive pizza. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'd eat it. Yeah. Foul territory. Oh. Boy, I'm, I'm really sorry. What's the score? Nothing. Nothing. Who's winning? <laughs> Say Ferris? What? Why is that on the front of the, the stadium? I don't know, man. At this point, like... Dude, there's a fire hydrant. Don't do that. Yeah, you can't park in front of a fire hydrant. Man. Oh, my God. There's no God. way you're that stupid, dude. Dude, don't be... No. Just park in front of the shrubbery over there instead. Oh, they're going to take his car, aren't they? Actually visiting his house? Yeah, this is a little creepy. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by. Dude, he's going to lose I his shit. Concern for my well -being. Wait, he's going to climb up? This is not it, my dude. This no, is this is it. This looks very bizarre. <clears throat> oh, this isn't suspicious whatsoever. Okay. No. Oh! No! His shoe! What? Oh! oh! Muddy socks! I'm gonna be real, that does not look like mud. Yeah, I just got a foot full of shit. <gasps> oh no! The perfect song! What? God, I love that Star Wars song, man. It's so good. Uh, dude, that means there's a possible dog. That's a big dog door, too. <laughs> that rip is getting worse. <laughs> oh, my God. Why would you do this? That's a big dog door. I know. Oh, he's a big boy. <laughs> he's smiling. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, God. Now that rip in his pants is going to be ten times worse. Why don't you just leave? Just go home and just... Maybe you take a day off, too. <laughs> hey, get the hands, quick! Quick! I don't get art, okay? I'm gonna say it right now. I don't. Oh, I don't get abstract art. Is he okay? <laughs> what? What's going on? 
That was bizarre. It's like he was becoming one with art. I really do think he is sick. Cameron, what have you seen today? Nothing good. <laughs> Ooh. We've seen everything good. We've seen the whole city. We ate, we ate pancreas. Pancreas? Why do we eat pancreas? <laughs> he had the shoe and everything, man. He just had to go. Aw, oh, Cameron, he didn't ditch us or anything. He's here. Hey, He's for here. all we know, he went back to school. I'm so confused. He just gets away with it all. That's it, man. How does he do this? It's the art of... He just blends in. That's it. What do you think Ferris is gonna do? President. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? A javelin. Oh, a scepter. Never mind. <laughs> a javelin? <laughs> I thought it was a javelin. I knew it! Oh! No. Why would you do this? Well, do you know where she is? Do you know when she'll be back? Do you know anything? <laughs> oh, God. Like, how do you explain this one if you get caught, dude? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, gets a nice fat ticket. Hey. It, it looks okay. This looks okay to me, Cameron. towing adios car see you later car man so he's gonna have to pay for it being towed pay for all those tickets yeah so if you have any brains whatsoever you'll get your ass out of my house real quick i'd also like to add that i have my father's gun and a scorching case of herpes <laughs> <laughs> oh no You shit it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> I think he's having a panic attack. He's on another planet right now. Yeah, he's walking into the bright light. We better try something else. This isn't working. <laughs> what? No. Maybe he's really sick. He's gonna drown himself. Yep. Yep. <laughs> He almost escaped. What is that? Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. <laughs> <You're kidding? laughs> oh. oh shit, it's Charlie Sheen. Are you in here for drugs? 
We know he is. Why are you here? <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Why don't you put your thumb up your butt? <laughs> Somebody you should talk to. If you say Ferris Bueller, you lose a testicle. Oh, well, you know him. <laughs> Everybody knows Ferris! I better check on the car. It's gonna die right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I I'm get like, even I'm feeling like anxiety of the car dying now. <sighs> Good night, car. Oh, it's gonna happen right now. Miles aren't coming off, going in reverse. Please turn off the car. Oh shit. I can't stand when I just this goddamn car. Who do you love? Who do you love? You love a car. Oh. That was a good kick, holy shit. He'll come home, he'll see what I did, he'll have to deal with me. I don't care, I really don't. I can't wait to see the look on the bastard's face. It's a matter of time. Yeah. There he goes, too. Yep. This is, um... Yeah, now it's definitely just dead. Oh, oh God, it's smoking! The car's turbo-fucked. Let's see that thing. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. When Morris comes home, he and I will just have a little chat. It, it won't be that little. Uh, yeah. I... Oh, by the way, I hope your son is feeling better. I beg your pardon? Tell him all the guys at the station here are pulling for him, hmm? <laughs> right. <laughs> Why is everyone at the station like? I have to go. I'll call you tonight. It's a car. Ah! Jeannie, what the hell are you doing? I'm gonna get this back in order. Oh, God. Ooh. Mm. Yo, what is that? It's kind of tasty. I hate it first. Oh, my God. What? It smells delicious. Get it ready. What? <laughs> hey, yo. I just picked up Jeannie at the police station. I think we should shoot her. What? 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 We should shoot. Oh. Looking for this? He's still here? Oh. Hi. Thank God you're all right. You know, we've been worried sick about you. I want you to go upstairs and get in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine someone as sick as Ferris trying to walk home from the hospital? Kids. He's gonna lose his shit! By the way, Mr. Rooney, you left your wallet on the kitchen floor. <laughs> Please, don't make me stay home again. I want to go to school. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Get well. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a big baby. 
hospital and I'll bring you a hot cup of soup, okay? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all these sounds? Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Is that actually now? Like, I, I don't know. I believe that's it, yeah. We see oh, yeah, that's everything. That's okay. it, wow. I had to double check. So we just finished um, watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And uh, I can resonate and relate heavily with Ferris. Oh, yeah. Can we ever? Oh, uh, my God. Back at my high school, I had the record for most days ever missed from school. And I'm going to let you know, guys. Nine days. Rookie. Um, <coughs> rookie numbers. That's it. That's it. I easily missed well over 20 days of school. How many? Over 20. 100%. I think I actually had around 40, 44. If I remember correctly, I missed a Here's lot of days one year. He missed the most, but I'll tell you guys what. I missed quite a lot, too. We missed a lot of school. And you know what? Were we sick for all of them? God, no. no. I was a master at faking sick. Yeah. Uh, we would fake sick a lot. And it was like when Ferris was going across the rules, it was like one of them was like you would go to the doctor's office. The amount of times... No. we fu I fucked up a few times and I would be sent to the doctor's office... And he would just have to tell me there's fucking nothing wrong with me. And I'd be like, oh, okay. I just go home anyways. <laughs> but it's just like, dude. Yeah, the doctor's right. office is worse than school. Yes, it that, is. Even though you're there for a shorter period of time, the waiting there the, and how boring it is, is, yeah. is just, it's not worth it. You have to it. get up super early to get there too, to yeah. line up for yeah. it. Oh, uh, dude, it's a pain in the if ass. If you're feeling, if you're getting caught and they're like, you know what, let's take you to the doctor's office, say, you know what? I think I can go to school today. Yeah. Never go to the doctor's office. That Never is... go. Uh, uh It ain't worth no. it. It ain't worth it. No. Mm. No. <laughs> that is not how you play. That's a very no. dangerous game to play. But it was like Ferris had like some kind of horseshoe up his ass. Everything and anything that he did worked out. Yeah, he got away with everything. Absolutely everything. Not just that, though. He was a very brilliant guy. He, he always planned ahead then he to did. get out of certain situations and whatnot, you know? He used Cameron's. He like, pretend to be uh, Sloan's dad and whatnot. He was, you know, not only did he get lucky, but he was also well prepared. That is true. Yeah, I think he's just a master at it. That's it. It's like uh, his sister was so upset that he was skipping a school, and it's like, why are you? It's like, it's like uh, what he said at the end there. You're only upset because you would get caught, and he's not. And the thing is, he's so good at it. It's not even just that. Like, if she wanted to miss school, she could too. She could skip. No, yeah. nothing stopping her. No, nothing at all. Go for it. Give it a shot. Try. That's it. You, you know, know, if. If you want to get good at it, you got to start doing it. That's how it is. Practice makes perfect. That is exactly it. He did it nine times, but then again, you did see it. It's like the classic uh, kind of situation ship and situation ship I mean, situation. I don't know. I'm kind of stupid, mm -hmm. but you know, with certain families where they baby the youngest yeah. and they're very hard on the oldest. They're very lenient on him. Yeah, they were so hard on Jean. Like at every time, like you even saw how she was just very impatient. Didn't even believe her story about the intruder yeah, in the house. Yeah, yeah. You know, say like, "Oh, you like you wasted my time, blah blah blah. You ruined my deal." She wasn't even concerned about the safety of her daughter because there was an intruder. There technically, yeah, well, yeah, there, there, was, was. there was, there was, you know, and she didn't give a shit. Her mom, nope, not at all. And you saw the difference with Ferris, just like babying him and everything. Oh my god! And he would get like he would pretend to be all cute and innocent and stuff like and, that, and, and he would that, eat that shit up. Uh, that's the thing; like he was spoiled rotten, Ferris. Oh yeah, I genuinely felt bad for Cameron. Holy fuck, Cameron yeah. was going through a lot of hard issues and stuff. You know, he was talking about his parents' marriage, mm -hmm. about them both being miserable. He loves the car more than his uh, mother and stuff like yeah. that. I was like, wow, dude, you just feel bad for Cameron, man. He's having a tough time. Yeah, and that's why, he, he, like, kind of, like, killing the car, in a sense, is getting rid of the thing that he loves. Well, not just that, but he's, like, killing the car pretty much got rid of his fear of his father. You can see there was a huge fear of his father in yeah, everything. Yeah, the anxiety and everything. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. And uh, I guarantee you that's why he, um, like, it's like Ferris said, you know, the days in which are he's sick are the best days he has. Well, it's not just that, because Ferris fakes sick so he can have a really fun and great day. Yep. Cameron fakes sick. Hoping that his parents would acknowledge and care about him. Yep. It's a very... The contrast is so, like, uh, of their characters is really good. Yep. They're, they're very different. They're very different. Yeah, but that, that is the case. Some people aren't lucky to have, like, uh, well, 
parents like Ferris that dote on him, even though they're very tough on Jean. Yes. Like right away, like uh, she explained to her husband, oh. You know, she made me lose the deal, and she went, and she's in the police. Like, should we shoot her? Yeah, I was like, what? Whoa! Shoot her? That's a quick suggestion right there. Just blast your daughter. Yeah, and I, and I like how even in the end for Jean, she kind of came to terms with it and kind of covered for Ferris as well. Yeah. It was like, you know what? Like, why do I care not so much? Not just that, but that's the thing. Like, why waste your time getting upset about something you can't control? That's his life, not yours. Leave him be. It was yep. also like the principal, for example, mm -hmm. uh, Rooney. Yeah. Right? He cared so much about getting Ferris. He pretty much just ruined a day that could have been perfectly normal and great if he just stayed at the yep. office and chilled. Yeah, he... Car wouldn't have gotten towed. No. Wouldn't have gotten mangled by a dog. Yeah, would have still had a shoe. And would have had a nice shoe and not a muddy sock. Yep. And, you know, he... all those parking tickets, towed all his truck. Parking tickets, yeah. Well, his car. Like... He lost so much out of that when you could have literally have just not given a shit and just let him do whatever he wanted. Like, if you see someone who's doing something as harmless as skipping school, what does it do for you my in any way to even go out of your way to be like oh they're skip who cares yeah but not even like uh, not only are his parents very easy on ferris and stuff but it seems like ferris was a very likable guy and that's what got him around Th that, things that's what played into his favor as well is that he is very charismatic he knows he's just like friends with everybody yeah so like this whole safe ferris thing all over the Dude, place he was even on the stadium they i know like, a, like what the even fuck? in the newspaper like, safe there. Like, what the fuck is happening to him? I like when they were like, uh, money for Ferris, money for Ferris. I like how, like, even the the, the guy at the police station, tell me, you know, everyone yeah. here at the, <laughs> we're, we're all rooting for him. It's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, he gets around and he, like, he, he, he's really just makes people comfortable. You that's know? It. He seems like a friendly guy who just talks and wants to have a great time. You can see that. All he wants to do is have fun with his life. That's it. Pretty I like much. how, in the end, you do see that he does have some kind of, like, He's human after all, and you know. He, yeah, when he like uh, when he breaks the fourth wall, which they do in a great way, where he kind of just like fills in the extra stuff that you don't know, basically explaining his fears for the future. Yeah, where he understands, you know, Cameron and I are probably not going to get into the same school, you know, and there's a possibility you're going to grow apart. And it is true when well, after high school, like I know, but my best friend in high school, I grew apart from the guy. I, I haven't talked yeah, to this it, guy well, since high it school. Just, it got awkward. It got awkward. Yeah, when we. Uh... Yeah, he felt he fell for the Cameron. The, the Cameron, the explainer Cameron. The, the first girl that that he interacted oh, with. My, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. The first girl that he dated. He, I'm pretty sure he's still with her, too. He is. And because of her, he stopped talking to me, and he, and he stopped hanging dude, out with some friends. Dude, he, yep. he stopped hanging out with all of us. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Right when he was saying that, it's like, I know. That Holy type of, shit. He was spot on. Like the, What Ferris said there was spot on. There are these guys who really think little of themselves and because of like the the stuff that they deal with like for example like his parents and that and he sees the stuff the first person to come into their lives they really are in a sense desperate for that kind of attention and they're like they latch onto it too hard and they, if that person's not good for them they kind of treat them like shit you know they're not good for yeah, each other i mean you gotta find someone who respects you more than anything yeah, like, he's you gotta find someone best. you truly click with you know just yeah. because it's the first person you've been with or like you know you get comfortable with this person doesn't mean they're actually right for you and you know I just give you a perfect example. Like, I've actually seen this in person. That's so scary that you said yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know so if their true. relationship is going stronger than ever, but, like, I, I remember that. Dude, that is so fucking scary when you mention that. Yep. You're so right. Oh, my uh -huh. God. Yeah. It's true, guys. It's true. Yeah. It, it was very true. And he was, like, even mentioning about Sloan. Like, you know, she's a year behind. I'm go. I'm moving on. She's still here. Yeah, is Things it really gonna, gonna work? Well, it's gonna be different. He's in college. She's in high school. You know, those Di are two separate. Exactly. Lives, different. You know, different experiences. Different kind of like <laughs> places in your life. Because you know, even though you're just maybe one year in age difference, no, but that makes those difference. different types of at, like environments. Yes. are so huge. Yeah, college is a huge step, and it's nothing like high school. So you're like you're having experiences, new experiences that she isn't having, and it, you know, think you might even drift apart or whatnot during that time. So you, mm -hmm. it's very. It's, there are cases where it works out. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. But it's just like a lot can happen. Mm -hmm. Even though it's just like a year apart, so much yeah, can happen. Yeah, so it makes sense of his character that, you know, he's kind of, he is afraid of these things. Yes. He understands that these possibilities that, you know, Sloan won't be in his life no more. Him and Cameron might grow apart even. Yeah. You know, and that's why he made that effort to have that amazing fucking day. He wants it's because to... he wants to have these memories with them. Yeah, he wants to have memories that last with him and them also yeah with the people he loves and cares for right now yeah and you know i really have, i like that you know so let that be a message to you guys all right well it's like you know at the end of the day you should value more so memories you know of having a good time with people you care about than not anything. just that but you have to also remember it's like the quote that ferris says in the beginning and the end 
you know life moves so fast sometimes you just got to stand still and just enjoy it kind of thing yeah. i worded it wrong but yeah yeah because it moves so by so fast yeah and you know, you know? sometimes you just got to like enjoy life yeah. for what it is so for example you know it's you know point, if you're always i'm gonna be honest with you, you know maybe i shouldn't condone it skip school if you want to skip school you want to disc school and hang out with your friends and have a good time not in, do it not even that maybe take a day off work Call, you, you, fake fakes it say hey uh i feel it's sick to i'm not gonna be able to come yeah, to the you, office you, know, you, you have and I, I know it's like you save those days for vacations and stuff like that but you know what save a day or two have for a, a me day no, you know have a vacation yeah. take that day and have a great fucking day yeah you maybe know? you know maybe hit up a homie and be like yo bacon sick today hey let's go hang out kind of thing that's hey, what i'm talking let's about get out of work today let's take you a know, little vacay things like school and work are always going to be there but these great memories and great times won't be and yeah. that's the fact of reality and the, you know the best thing is there's no better feeling than taking a day off from work and then having some fun in that day there's nothing better than it's it makes the the fun day even more fun because you're like ooh, i shouldn't be doing this but <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna fucking do it anyways that's what makes it great so yeah we're, we're on 10 minutes so we're gonna end on the note that you know enjoy life for enjoy, what it is. enjoy life yeah. honestly take the moments to do it and just take the stick out of your ass all right true work, work isn't that serious work no. doesn't actually matter that no. much you're not at the top of the corporate ladder you're not reaping all the rewards you're the little no. worker and yep. fuck them take your day off yep. enjoy it true. school it true. school if you miss one day doesn't mean it's the end of the world you probably miss nothing true. especially if you're in high school dude oh god who high cares? school doesn't fucking matter whatsoever all right who cares but that enjoy life we love you we love you Bye. Bye. <laughs>